Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, and today we read from Colossians 2, 1 through 5. I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery which is in Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. Several things jump out at us in this passage. Um, One is kind of simple. Uh, Paul mentions Laodicea, and in in some other, some book, and it may be at the end of Colossians, I don't don't remember, but somewhere Paul writes, you know, share this letter with others and and read the one I wrote to Laodicea. Now, we don't have that letter unless, unless it's Ephesians. And there are complicated reasons why it might be Ephesians. Ephesus was a leading city in that area, and Laodicea was a small town, and Ephesians seems to have been edited, so there's not much personal stuff at the end of it, as there often is in Paul's letters. And so some people say, well, maybe Ephesians was actually the letter originally sent to Laodicea. We don't know. But Paul has all these little churches in his uh, on his list, in his mind, and here he's saying that, you know, I haven't seen you face to face, but um, but I know that you are faithful, and I want, I want you to continue that. Um, and then he says, and it's a very long series of clauses, but he says he wants your hearts to be encouraged, knit together in love, so that you can reach all the riches of full what is full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of the mystery of Christ and, and all this stuff. Um, encourage to encourage someone is to fill their heart with, with uh, w- to strengthen. You know, uh, core uh, is a well. That's a French word, but core is the Latin word for heart. And so, to encourage something is to give you give you heart. And to discourage you would be to dishearten you, to make you you know hesitant. And so. Um, he wants to fill their hearts, and hearts can be encouraged and knit together in love, which is really what the church is about, um, and then can reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding. So we can learn all that there is to learn about uh, God and, um, and know, know how this mystery of Christ works. I know what that mystery is, and in Christ is in whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Uh, so there we will find um, all that we need to know about, about God and about our salvation by looking at Jesus. Uh, and he says this in order that no one can say, well, Paul's never been here, you know, you, you, he's not really on your side, you need to follow me instead of Paul. Uh, he says, I don't want anyone to, to delude you. I'm absent in body, but I'm with you in spirit, and I rejoice to see, and he says something interesting here, he rejoices to see their good order and the firmness of their faith. Um, There are churches in our time that don't have good order. Um, Some of that is built into the church, and some of it's not. Let me give you a couple of examples briefly. uh, congregational style churches where the congregation as a whole votes on every issue that comes up, um, they tend not to have great order uh, and they fly apart whenever the pastor gets mad at the other pastor or something. Um, or churches that are run by a bishop far away and very high up and who, who doesn't care much about the local church. Um, so I, showing my prejudices here for the Presbyterian system, which has got all the worst features of both. Um, but he's, he's amazed and he appreciates their order, their good order, and the firmness of their faith. So he knows that they're in good shape and that they're, they're organized well and working together well. Um, 
which is about all you can hope for any congregation, and, and certainly I uh, hope that's true of yours. So wherever you are, have a great Wednesday, and we will see you tomorrow morning for more of Colossians.